this is a $40 anime figure and this is an $80 anime figure. But if you could buy them for cheaper, would you? Or better question yet, should you? Well I did, I bought six four to five dollar anime figures from a website called AliExpress. This could get quite interesting. AliExpress is a massive Chinese website that sells everything and almost anything at massive discounted prices to your local stores or online websites. This has been known due to their low prices including the postage due to their not always being authentic bootlegs you might say but I say let's look before we judge. First one let's take a look we have the Q Posca version of Inosuke and that is, that is a huge base for little Inosuke there with his very very bent swords and paid job not great molding not great he does not look is that even gonna fit in here well he definitely fits on the stand the stand is like three times bigger than it needs to be in Nuske Q Posket in Nuske AliExpress I think there is definitely a difference in this one Bigger one this time. I did mix these up just a little bit so we have got some actual figures but of course on top of that we've got some of the new style stuff that people have been enjoying lately. Acrylic stand figures. And we have Tanjiro. Oh, the cut on that is not good. Has that got a coating on it? Is that a coating on it? Is there anything I can peel off? Peel. Ah, instantly looks thousand times better I say does this peel don't you can see that there but that is very cloudy very frosted there's not a very detail and color saturation in it but if you really dig at it there is actually a protective layer over the top oh look at that peel now that is definitely more like it there's no one on the back which I will take off now how cool does that actually look for a couple of dollars an acrylic stand of this quality the artwork on it is stunning there's no issues with the detail the print or anything like that on it the cut looked a bit weird and dodgy but that is literally because of the frosted protective layer over the top of it i am very very impressed with that that is amazing that next one everyone's favorite character it's Nezuko and <laughs> she looks um quite shocked uh yeah let's just say she looks very shocked the paint job is essentially non-existent on it it's scuff marks everywhere the pink of her kimono is just everywhere than it should be just nowhere it is uh these feet look weird Here's a stand though, so here's the test. Can we get her on the stand? Can we? We've got it. Do the splits and there's a go. It's one on. Yeah. You can definitely see why this one was only a $5 figure. <laughs> they may uh, they've pretend to use a similar mold from the original, but paint job, the attention to detail on the cut of the hat. Look, we can see that. It's just. <sighs> <laughs> the good thing about this one, I think this could be actually saved with a new paint job. But if you're enjoying how expressive this video is so far, go on, smash that like button. It'd be greatly appreciated and really help this video to be delivered to more people. <laughs> now for the big one. We've had the acrylic stand, we've had the tiny Kuposket, we've had the very expressive Nezuko. There's three more left to go, and all in this one bag. Well, that was pretty pointless. A bag for two bags. Leave the big one to last. I think you might be sensing a slight theme. So we have a huge acrylic stand this time from Demon Slayer. So give me a moment, we'll get all the backing off. We'll get from that horrible opaque frosted on both sides and see what the final look is like. Now instantly I've got to say, these acrylic stands are just absolutely stunning. And the main thing for this one, the print is onto this side, 
and you can see it really nicely but you turn it around covered by the acrylic it's still really sharp and it's just amazing that the way it's been done viewed from both sides perfectly fine the colors are great on it let's hold it up look and this was only like three dollars like a dollar postage looking at it so far with Inuske and of course Nezuko the acrylic stands are absolutely perfect no complaints whatsoever should be two awesome figures in here the, the acrylic ones have been amazing we've not had much luck with the normal figures so far two more let's hope these are better so i don't know if you can see there we have geo and Sanitsu. geo i do actually have what well, i know in fact is the official version of this figure so we'll compare that in a moment let's go to Sanitsu. <laughs> one thing they normally get perfectly right all the time is the eyes the eyes are just normal just printed transfers put onto it but <laughs> that one, he looks completely crazy what on earth is going on there he kind of looks like he's been uh taking a lot of drugs or some sort of them eyes it's blooming hell i've seen i've seen the sword this his sword literally curls around his whole body and round the paint job again is just his cape's not too bad i guess his cloak there's lots of little sections where the triangles are cut out but his his feet and his boots area are just what was the even point of attempting that? That is just absolutely ridiculous. You could literally throw paint at it and it would look better than that. At least Sanitsu fits directly straight onto his stand. I didn't have to try to make him do the splits or do anything crazy like that. Yeah, he, he looks kind of just completely out of it and very, very upset. Maybe that's because I took the mic out of Nezuko earlier. You know what he's like with Nezuko. Now, this is definitely the one I am wanting to compare to. Let's see how Geo looks. And then I'll get the other one and you can see a nice comparison between them. I am not going to look at his face. I shall let you look at his face but the back of him. It's not good. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Wow, these things are angry. These characters are so angry on these ones. The eyes are just absolutely lifeless and just a tiny little... <laughs> if nothing else, at least his sword's more straight. It curves a little bit at the bottom but... The sword is more or less straight this time round. He's got a weird kind of glossy kind of finish to him. Again, on the bottom, the kind of just didn't really bother too much. Definitely could have done with an extra coat of white or a thicker layer of white. No detail in his hands, really. I don't know if it was like a transfer kind of paint they used because underneath his hand here, you can see the same texture of his cloak as well, unless it's been sat against another one because it didn't really care for it. It's kind of understandable in a lot of ways considering these are only four or five dollar figures. But if you put them in comparison to them acrylic stands, them acrylic stands are just amazing. And this does not fit. Alright, so Angry Geo, let's go get the official one and do a comparison. AliExpress Geo, official Banpresto Geo. One thing you probably would have realised straight away, so when you looked over at Nesco, when I put Nesco on the shelf there next to, next to Sabito, uh, size. These are definitely a hell of a lot smaller than the official ones. Just comparing them there, you can probably see there's a good two or three centimeters. Base wise, massive difference. And if we bring them up together, detail in the sword, even though the poses are essentially the same, the hair stat you can see straight away in the hair, there's a lot more detail, a lot more fullness to the hair of the official one. Cloak is a lot more solid, paint job is a lot nicer. You've got this horrible kind of gloss on here, but you've got the nice matte satin finish. On this side, and I say the sword, the belt, even look if we look around to the pattern, oh, the pattern is all over the place on the fake one, on the official one, it's all nice and smooth, consistent, all the way around, up to the lines, all around the arms, the whole lot. Whereas in this one, there's lots of patchwork all over the place. You gotta look at it this way brand new out, $40 or $5. If you are working on a budget and you can't afford, to get these kind of price figures i can fully understand why people will go to places like aliexpress or wish.com in order to get the cheaper versions of their favorite characters they're not the best looking but if that's all you can afford that's all you can afford but this has most certainly been extremely eye-opening uh i don't think i would really do much with these if you can afford it i would definitely say go and get 
the official versions but if not they are a good substitute for it for the price on the other hand these acrylic stands for same price slightly cheaper than these are absolutely amazing i would definitely recommend you go and get yourself a few of these these are going to look amazing in your collection on the shelf on the wall wherever you want to put them display them these look insane and you know what else is insane this video right here from wish.com where i went and got some more anime figures from different series and boy was that one fun and eye-opening but if you're wondering how you can collect on a budget that video is right here my name's been daniel this has been twisted geek hope you have an awesome week say bye <laughs>